far from evil. That's why we're leaving New York. Amen. And you know, we say shame on you, New York. Your governor promotes abortion until birth. The shedding of innocent blood. This is this is a great wickedness. Your your sign even is true of who you are. Very wicked place. And we are here to explain the gospel to you, the way out from the wickedness of this world. And that's through Jesus Christ. God already judged you when he allowed a very serious tragedy to come upon you about 18 years ago. And the judgment, no one can escape the judgment. The wicked will not stand in the judgment. The Bible says that. Only the righteous will stand in the judgment. If the righteous are scarcely saved, how much less the ungodly and the wicked? Do you fear God? Because God does care about you. He loves you very much. The love is so strong that he'd be willing to sacrifice his own son as the atonement for your sin. We're enemies. You're enemies of God for your wicked works. The Bible says that. And the only key, the only way for these wicked works to turn around into righteous works is through the blood of Jesus and through God's uh, giving you eternal life. The Bible says, unless Jesus said, unless a man is born of water and the Spirit cannot see the kingdom of God. You've been born of water because you came out of your mouth. But you must be born spiritually. If you're only born once, you'll die twice. You'll die a physical death. And, he, and they will look and see in heaven that your name is not written in the lamps of life. You should be cast into the lake of fire. Amen. Amen. I won't save you. The Catholic Church won't save you. I hope not. Only Jesus can save you, sir. And the Bible says that we need to repent or we will likewise perish. You know, you can follow after a vanity, follow after a, a job, maybe your, your green job, or making it big on the New York Stock Exchange, or whatever whatever you're pursuing. But the, all of those pursuits are so empty without God. Pursue things with God. Jesus is the center. Jesus came not to condemn you, but to save you.